Hi everyone! Welcome to Score Secrets. Today I'm going to share with you 15 tips on how to raise your vibrational frequencies. So uh, on my last video, I shared seven things that affects our vibrational frequencies. Actually, those things are actually the one that brings it down. So today I'm going to give you 15 tips to raise on how to raise your vibrational frequencies. Um, so before we get into it, show real. Welcome back. Hi everybody. My name is Irene. I am a Law of Attraction coach. I'm also a uh, fourth degree black belt on the Mukwondo style. So today I am going to share with you 15 tips in order for you to raise your vibrational frequencies. So on my last video, as I have mentioned, I actually shared seven things that affect our vibrational frequencies, which actually brings it down. So if you missed that video, go back and watch that one. And after you watch this or maybe you could go back in here again but anyway so um, let's deep dive into it so the first thing that I wanted to kind of mention to you is to raise your vibrational frequency is actually being positive so having a positive mindset is one of the things uh, that could help you to raise your vibrational frequencies and you know most success in life is actually uh, resulting from having a positive mindset and I know that it takes a practice to actually start the habit and so that it will definitely because when you are positive you're always you're solution focused and you are not being challenged by anything you are always looking for something positive number two is your tribe have you ever heard of uh, the term your tribe is your vibe so what that means is that if you are hanging out with people that are energetic that are happy that are always positive in their life you know the tendency is like you become one of them and you are always being happy as well you know now likewise if you are with negative minded people uh, and you know hanging out with people that only talks about their problems then the tendency is that you absorb that negative energy and you become a negative person as well third is eating healthy so we are what we eat so if we eat something that is not good for us you know a lot of junk food and all that stuff we put those into our body and we does not give us a lot of energy so uh, if we eat healthy foods then you know that we become more healthy Number four is hydrate your body. Our body actually consists of 70% water. So therefore, if you are dehydrated, you are, you feel, you're, if you actually are very conscious about how your body feels, if you are dehydrated, you may feel a little off, you know, because uh, sometimes become uh, you become dizzy or um, it just doesn't feel right. That's why it's very important to hydrate our body. Number five is be physically active. So it's known that when we are physically active, the tendencies we are more energetic and we are more on a higher vibration. So next is take a break or have a me time. You know, so when life gets crazy and so busy, you know the tendency is for us to actually forget our body to you know to take a break and so what happens is that we just keep right on going and going and if you know if we are exhausted our mind is also exhausted so it is important to actually take a break you know and unwind and just you know a simple uh, probably a simple hot bath or maybe a massage you know and that would do the trick because we need to keep our vibration high. number seven is practice breathing exercises so breathing exercises is actually um is a good way to remove negative energies in our body and also it actually relaxes our mind it relaxes our breath so when your mind is calm you are at peace therefore your vibration is high my next tip 
is do some meditation. Actually, daily meditation really helps calm our spirits, calms our mind, therefore it calms our spirits. And you know, when your spirits are calm, then you are at peace and maybe at bliss when you are doing your meditation. So practice meditation. So number nine is uh, saying affirmations. So sometimes we have limiting beliefs in our mind. And when we have limiting beliefs, we sometimes um, think of something negative about ourselves, which tremendously actually affects our vibrational frequencies. So doing affirmations to actually correct what we are saying, negative things that we're saying to our mind will help raise our vibration. Number 10 is saying gratitude. So I recommend to actually get a, a gratitude journal so you can actually do a daily gratitude and it really raises, it's one of the best thing, a way to actually raise your vibration. Number 11 is actually uh, help or be kind to others. So if you notice when you are helping others, we feel that happiness inside of us right? Because according to Tony Robbins, the sixth of the six um, basic human needs to fulfill happiness is contributions. Therefore, when we do something for others, we feel so happy. So that is something that will raise your vibration. The next one is avoid excessive exposure to electronic devices. So um, there are appliances and electronic devices that emits uh, negative energies such as radiation. And so if you are exposed to these, it actually lowers your vibration energy. So it may, some people may also become sick. So avoid that. The next tip is my favorite one, which is use crystals and stones to help you raise your vibrational frequencies. Now, this is going to be a really a whole another topic that I wanted to kind of uh, do another video on about crystals and stones. So yes, there are crystals and stones that can help you raise your vibrational frequency. And there are also crystals and stones that can protect you from negative energies. Number 14 is use essential oils or aromatherapy to actually raise your vibration. So essential oils or aromatherapy has been used in the ancient times and for holistic healing. And so um, these actually, um, and if you probably really notice this, that uh, for example, if you smell a lavender, you keep on smelling it for a few seconds and it raises, it relaxes you. It puts you into a peaceful state. So use essential oils or aromatherapy to raise your vibration, putting you in happiness, peace, and bliss. The last but not the least is practice mindfulness. So being aware of how you feel and, and, and what is in your mind or thoughts, you know, because thoughts are vibrations and feelings are vibrations. It is very important that you are aware of how you're feeling and what your what is in your mind. Because if you do, then you can do something about it. If you notice that you are in low vibration, then you can actually do something about it to shift your mood into a higher vibration. So that those are the 15 tips that I would like to leave with you today. I hope you like this video. If you do, click that like button. And if you haven't, haven't actually subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button because I'm dedicated to create more videos where I can share my knowledge and to inspire you as well. So until my next video, thank you for watching. Bye!